Nandy. I gotta wait for it. I no longer pray. Call me a heathen, call me God, but it doesn't matter because I believe in God. It's not the God people want me to believe in. My God is the one who pushes me for excellence in everything I do. My God is the one who loves me despite my flaws. My God is the one who gives me the ability to write this. The Bible for Christians, the Quran for Muslims, the Torah for Jews, just like any other book written by men, and that's fine. But I no longer get on my knees and stare at the sky above me. I no longer plead and beg for change to come by way of good faith. I no longer see the need. I no longer pray. Because back in Civil War days in secret churches, my people prayed and prayed and prayed, and then they died. They wore chains invisible to even themselves. Still, they were slaves. They left this earth no better than when they were put on it. And I no longer pray. Because a century later, in the midst of their hell, my people prayed and prayed and prayed, and then they died. This time, their chains became tighter and tighter like the nooses they hung on. Still, they were slaves. They left this earth no better than when they were put on it. And I no longer pray. Because it's 2015 and all of my people pray and pray and pray, but we are still dying. Our chains have melted to our skin, have poisoned our thoughts and behaviors. Still, we are slaves, and if we don't change, we'll leave this earth no better than when we were put on it. I and I no longer it. pray. Praying means asking, means begging, and that doesn't work. But I can say something. Dear Lord, I am not asking you for anything. I am telling you something. I no longer pray. I speak. I will make sure my people no longer pray. They will speak. They will no longer use you as an excuse, as a crutch for their sins. They will come and tell you about their accomplishments and your Lord. I no longer pray. All right.